Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at how to crop and straighten an image in Lightroom so that we can focus the viewer's eye on the story that we want to tell. Now, I'm in the library module right now, but if I want to move over to the develop module, probably the easiest way to do it is to just tap the D key. The D key will take us over to the develop module. If I'm in the develop module and I want to get back to the grid view, then I can just tap the G key. Now, I'm in the grid view in the library module again, and because I know that I want to crop this image, instead of tapping the D key to get to develop, I'm simply going to tap the R key, and that will take me to the develop module and also give me the crop tool. Now, when you first start cropping an image, Lightroom gives you this crop outline around the entire image. However, you can also click and drag anywhere in the image to start the crop. Then, once you've set down your initial crop, you can then position your cursor within that crop, you get the hand tool, and you can reposition your image within that crop marquee. If I want to redefine the area that's cropped, I can click on either the corner points or any of the middle points. Now, right now, I can see that my crop tool is not constrained. It's unlocked. So I can either click the lock icon or tap the A key in order to constrain it. If I want to constrain it to a specific aspect ratio, then I can select that from the list. I'll go ahead and choose 2 by 3 or 4 by 6 right now. Now, if I tap the return or enter key in order to apply that crop, that crop is still non-destructive, meaning that if I tap the R key again to select the crop tool, you can see that all of the information outside of the crop is still there. So everything that I do in the develop module is completely non-destructive, and I can always make changes or refine any of the adjustments that I make. Let's go ahead and enlarge the crop a little bit, and then reposition the image within that crop. Now, if I wanted to straighten that image, you'll notice that I do have an angle slider that I can rotate, or I can simply position my cursor outside of the crop marquee, and when I get the double-headed arrow, I can click and drag in order to rotate or straighten the image. Then I can redefine the area of the crop, and then refine it even more if I want to straighten it a bit. If I want to switch the orientation of the crop, I can do so in two ways. Either by dragging the handle, you'll notice here, instead of dragging down and to the right, I'm going to drag straight across to the right, and once I move it far enough, Lightroom will snap it so that it converts it from that horizontal to a vertical crop. To convert it back, I can click and drag, this time to the left, in order to snap it back to a horizontal crop. I could also use the X key to exchange the crop from vertical to horizontal. If I ever want to reset the crop, in the crop options at the bottom, you'll notice that I can click reset, and that only resets the crop, whereas if I click the bigger reset button, it would reset all of the settings that I've changed in all of the panels in the develop module. All right, so I'll go ahead and just crop this down a bit, reposition it, and then tap enter or return to apply the final crop. A few shortcuts before we wrap up. When you do have the crop tool selected, which if you don't want to use the keyboard shortcut, you can click on the crop icon here underneath the histogram to select it. If we move over to the tools menu, you'll notice that we have some options for the crop guide overlay. Now, by default, the crop guide is going to show the rule of thirds, but there are a variety of different overlays that you can show, and we can cycle through these grid overlays by tapping the O key. We'll go ahead and do that. I'll tap O. You can see here that we can cycle through all of those different views. Now, personally, I like the views to only show up when I'm actually dragging out the crop. I don't need them to be showing once I've actually made the crop. I want to see the photograph instead. So under the Tools menu, under the Tool Overlay, I'm going to change the default setting. Instead of always showing the overlay, I'll switch it to Auto Show. Now you can see that that rule of thirds is hidden until I mouse down and I'm actually changing the crop. Then it appears, and when I release the cursor, then it will go ahead and auto-hide. So there you have it. 
you can see how easy it is to crop and straighten an image in Lightroom's Develop module, all non-destructively. My name is Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.